high LDL cholesterol is widely accepted to be a major risk factor for coronary heart disease, which is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality around the globe. As part of normal metabolism, the liver releases cholesterol into the bloodstream. A member of the lipids family and an essential molecular building block in the human body, cholesterol circulates around the bloodstream attached to proteins forming complexes known as low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, or LDL. In this form, cholesterol is carried to the tissues that need it. However, too much LDL can be problematic, as it can lead to the formation and buildup of atherosclerotic plaques on artery walls. This can cause problems such as obstructions and ultimately myocardial infarction. Cholesterol present in the gut is contained within bile from the liver and from food sources in the diet. In order to be absorbed from the gut into the bloodstream, cholesterol mixes with bile salts, fatty acids, lecithin and triglycerides to form tiny water-soluble packets called dietary mixed micelles. The micelles then make contact with the intestinal cell wall where their contents are taken up into the cell. Once inside the cell, the micelle contents are repackaged into spherical particles called chylomicrons. The chylomicrons then carry their fatty contents into the bloodstream, where they are delivered to their target tissues, including the liver. Absorbed and newly synthesized cholesterol is then released from the liver cells into the bloodstream where it gradually forms LDL cholesterol via the transformation of other lipoproteins. However, there is an ingredient called plant sterols, which interferes with the absorption of cholesterol from the gut and significantly reduces the amount of cholesterol that reaches the bloodstream. Strong evidence suggests that plant sterols displace cholesterol from the micelles formed in the gut which are essential for cholesterol absorption. As a result, less cholesterol is contained within the micelles and cholesterol absorption into the bloodstream is reduced by as much as 30 to 40%. The cholesterol that is not incorporated into micelles is subsequently excreted from the body along with plant sterols, which are pumped back into the gut lumen. A wealth of scientific evidence clearly indicates that a daily intake of 2 to 2.5 grams of plant sterols results in a reduction of intestinal cholesterol absorption of 30 to 40 percent, which leads, on average, to a reduction of 10 percent in LDL cholesterol levels. This 10 percent reduction is important because evidence suggests it can cut the risk of coronary heart disease by as much as 20%.